Hey there guys, I'm Lee Williamson and today I'm going to show you how to get that cool cell animated look without any traditional animation skills, just using a little bit of rotor work inside of Adobe Animate. You will need a Wacom tablet, so get that one and then we can get started. So without further ado, let's dig in. So first things first, we will get our live footage and open up in Photoshop. And uh, make sure you've got your timeline layer on. And then you're going to go to the right hand side here where there's a burger button and click on set timeline frame rate. And we're going to change this to 12. So now when it plays, it's going to play at 12 frames a second. This is going to make our life a lot easier when we import into Flash because there will be less frames to trace. So go file and export render video and just save it as a H.264. And uh, let's just call it underscore uh, 12 FPS and then render. So the next thing you would do is you would go into flash animate and we're going to open up a full HD uh, canvas and create. And then we can go modify document and we're going to make this 12 frames a second. And then the next step would be to file import video and we're going to go embed at H264, the video on timeline and browse. Right, so I'm going to open up the 12 frames a second one and say next. And we don't need the audio, so I'll uncheck that. And I'll say next again and finish. Right, so I'm just going to relabel this and call this a video. Uh, right click it and put it on guide so that it doesn't export. And then we can create a new layer and we can call this skin. And we're going to select the whole entire uh, layer and we're going to press F6 and it'll create a keyframe. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag to, let's just to a point where, I, where the hand comes up. Uh, there we go. There we go. And I'm basically going to draw the hand. So. Here we go. Once I've drawn the hand, I'm going to go to my fill tool and I'll fill in the hand. And then I'll create a another layer and we can call this outline. And we can also select that whole layer and press F6 so we can break it to keyframes. So if I turn off the skin and I get a darker tone for the outline, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the extra details. So there's a fingernail there, maybe with the divide of the fingers, there'll be a divide there, and perhaps a divide over there, and who knows, over there in the hand. So when you turn the arm on, you can see the outlines on the arm. And then I'll create one extra layer, and we can call this T-shirt. Press F6, add keyframes to all of it. Again, and this time around, I'll choose a blue. And then I can pretty much do it again. Draw the arm. I'll tell you what, I can just draw over the skin. And I can always put that layer below. Uh, let's just zoom out a bit. I can draw off the canvas a little bit. And then fill that color in. And there we go. And 
you pretty much draw every single keyframe. The nice thing is since I put it at 12 frames a second, you will has, have less frames to draw. Right, so the trace is complete. So I'm gonna just turn the off the video and press enter. And here is the animation. So all we have to do is save that. Uh, no need to save it as an SWF, just keep it saved as the FLA. Right, so now we can take that flash file into After Effects. So I'll take in the flash file and say, okay. And what it's done is there's a folder that has each layer inside flash. And then they've actually created a comp already for you with the three layers, which is great. Has you noticed it actually hasn't added in the video, uh, just what I've drawn as I put that in a guide layer in flash. Now, the amazing thing about this is you've noticed I have two characters in my scene, so I can easily go and if I want to do change the skin tone of this character, I can just go to uh, full and I can drag a full on here and change your skin tone. So very nice when it comes to uh, recycling your animation where you want more than one character in the scene so you don't have to redraw things. So let's just remove that full now and, and go back to the actual animation itself. So uh, I'm gonna drag that uh, trace two into another composition. So I've just had it on the timeline and let's cut it from about here. Yeah, so control shift C, uh, control shift D. And it starts from there, goes up and goes down there and we can control shift D again and delete that. So now I've just had the, have the animating it on. Now, the next thing I need to do is get my post-its. So I've drawn one in Illustrator, drag it on the timeline. And first things first, let's get, where, where does he put that, his hand down? So I'll drag it above and I'm just gonna move that hand to where he swipes it on. Yeah probably add it a little bit higher. Boom, and swipes on. Cool, so the next thing I need to do is animate the post-it, uh, which is easy enough to do. Now, because this is at 12 frames a second, it would be better to use whole keyframes so you get a little bit more of a jittery effect. So the first thing I would do is I go P on my keyboard and drop a keyframe there. Uh, S on my keyboard, drop a keyframe, and R on my keyboard and drop a keyframe. So you've got position, scale, and rotation. I'm gonna select all of these keyframes and I'm gonna hold down Control Alt to create a hold keyframe. I press Y on my keyboard and let's just center it up the orientation point on the post-it. And let's see. So, drop another keyframe over there and bring it underneath the hand and just keep moving it into position. and keep going. It takes a little bit of time to finesse these keyframes, but you'll get the picture. And I think by this point he's dropped it down already. So let's just give that a try and play that again. Up and boom. Okay, so let's just delete that keyframe since we don't need it. Um, actually, let's put it back in there and let's just get it entirely off the screen. All right, so it comes up and pop. So uh, the first thing I also need to do is if he's holding it, you could probably let's just uncheck the uh, constraint proportions on your scale. And we can just scale it um, horizontally. 
So he's going to bring it up there. And as he drops it down, it's more than likely to open up to 100% there. And over here, you could probably have it at about, I don't know, 80%. Go zoom, boom, and he lands it down. So what you could also do is perhaps we can also do our rotation. Um, and maybe he has it at a bit of an angle when it's coming up. And then as he gets over here, it rotates a little bit forward. So it goes boom, boom. And then just before it drops down is maybe we can just make the position just that a little bit lower. So, well, uh, take that position and move it just a little bit lower so that when he drops it, it gets a bit of a, a bounce to it. Oh, I didn't get that right. Perhaps I should bring it below the last point. Boom. Right, you get the picture. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you very much. Bye.